Good morning, you guys. I have been wanting to make a what I eat in a day video for a very long time. I hired a nutritionist a while ago and the main thing she told me is that I needed way more protein in my diet, which makes me very excited to say that this video is sponsored by National Pork Board. a day really does revolve a lot around meal prep. On Mondays, I like to go to the grocery store, get everything that I need for the week, and then prep the food that I can on Mondays as well. And I do have to say, when I went to the grocery store and saw that the shelves were slowly stocking back up, it brought so much peace to my heart and it made me so grateful that I could go to the grocery store and pick up the things that I needed for this video. Pork shoulder and pork sirloin roasts are both good options for shredding the meat. I went with a pork sirloin roast because it is a leaner cut. Seven common pork cuts meet the USDA guidelines for lean and pork tenderloin is considered extra lean. In the past, I've had a hard time shredding pork and it's because I didn't know the recommended cooking temperature. It's safe to eat at 145 degrees Fahrenheit, but it will shred much easier if you get the temp to 170 degrees Fahrenheit or above. I typically always have hard boiled eggs in my fridge because they're a quick and easy snack, they're a really great breakfast option, and they're really cheap. I will usually do 18 eggs at a time. Obviously, if you don't go through that many eggs, you can do a lot less. I use a pressure cooker and add two cups of water and then all of my eggs and I cook on high for five minutes. much I want to eat for breakfast I have my eggs all the way ready and if I'm going to have eggs only I'll have like four or five eggs for breakfast which I know sounds like a lot but that's what I would do if not if I'm going to have avocado toast as well I will only have two eggs and then save the rest of these for later sometimes I will have avocado toast sometimes I'll have an avocado plain like I said, it really just kind of depends on how hungry I am. If I'm eating avocado plain, I will drizzle some olive oil on it, some salt and pepper, whatever you want. Now here's where my nutritionist told me that I was making a mistake. I would have the biggest drink of fresh squeezed orange juice you'd ever seen. And I thought I was being super healthy, which it was healthy, but it was just more sugar in my diet than I needed. So I've recently cut out the orange juice and I just have water, which I know is kind of plain, but I don't get enough water as is, so I have water with my breakfast. I personally like lemon pepper on all of this. If I have a fresh lemon, I'll squeeze a fresh lemon over all of this too, and then put the empty squeezed lemon in my water. This is just my favorite and it's a salt-free option, so. For lunch, I'm going to make a smoothie. This is protein powder, so I have two cups of whatever you want, either almond milk, coconut milk, water, whatever fluid you want, I do two cups. I do one scoop of protein powder and okay, more peanut butter than I actually need, but that's no one's business but mine. I do use 100% all natural peanut butter. I do one banana and then a big handful of spinach. This is what she looks like. There have been times if I'm making this for breakfast, I'll add oats to it or whatever, but I just feel like this is a good, easy lunch. dinner, typically what I'll do is I'll use a bowl, just a plastic bowl, dump everything in and toss my salad and eat straight out of the bowl. But for the purpose of being pretty for this video, I'm going to show how I do my salad right here on this pretty little plate. I start with a bed of spring mix salad and you can add any and all toppings that you want, but these are the toppings that I love. I love to do cucumber and I will do raspberries. I've done grapes. I've done blueberries, just whatever. I don't go heavy on the fruit because I'm trying not to have a lot of sugar in my diet. 
so I won't use a lot of fruit, but it's not going to hurt you, it's fine. I like slivered almonds. I don't know why I'm not like a huge almond lover, but slivered almonds to me are just so dang yummy. I slice up the avocado and then I scoop it out with a spoon and I just lay it on top right into the middle. Here is the meat that I pre-cooked already in the Tupperware straight from the fridge. I'm not going to warm it up because I don't like hot meat on my salad. I like it cold. Some people like it warm, just personal preference. So I'm just going to put the shredded pork on top of the salad. If you're looking for other ways to use your pork, you can put it on top of a baked potato. You can put it in a quesadilla. You can use it in a taco with pico in it. I like doing lettuce wraps. All of those options are good. This is my favorite part of putting the salad together. If you use goat cheese and just use a fork to crumble it down, look at the way it falls on the salad. Doesn't that look gourmet and beautiful? Looks so good. Dressings are kind of hard for me sometimes. What I did when my diet was uber, uber strict and what I still do a lot of times is just straight up balsamic vinegar and then lemon on top, maybe a drizzle of olive oil or avocado oil. So use whatever dressings you want. I try and look for the lowest calorie possible because you will ruin a salad by adding so much heavy dressing. So I'm a little careful with my dressings. Tell me that salad does not look divine. A typical what I eat during the day I don't have snacks in between my meals at least I try not to so something that has changed drastically in my diet that I haven't talked too much about is I do a lot of intermittent fasting I've been doing this probably since about August September October ish somewhere in that area and I've been eating one meal a day I will have my dinner I will have this salad at five o'clock except if this is my only meal I'm going to double the avocado I'm going to double the meat I'm going to make it a little more hearty of a salad and then I will be done eating by seven o'clock at night. I drink lots and lots of water during the day, vitamins, like that kind of stuff. Not always can I go the full day. I really do try and listen to my body. If I'm going to be doing the one meal a day, I won't eat anything until I have my dinner the next day at five. Or if I am just hungry and I wake up in the morning, I will eat what I showed you. If I only feel like I'm able to fast for the morning breakfast meal, then I will have my lunch and my dinner, and sometimes I'll substitute my shake because there's a lot there. I'll just have like eggs for lunch and then a hearty dinner at night. I have felt really good doing it, so I've been doing that for quite a while, but it's just however you feel and whatever's going to make you feel the best. I wanna say thank you again to National Pork Board for sponsoring this video. If you guys wanna learn more ways to incorporate pork into your healthy, balanced diet, you can visit pork.org slash cooking.